All right, guys, so today I am going to be discussing the main differences between the Britannic and the Titanic. I'll probably be doing another video talking about the Titanic and the Olympic, but in this video, I am going to be comparing these ships, talking about which one I like the best and why, and really comparing some key spaces, including the Grand Staircase area on both the Britannic and the Titanic, along with the swimming pool, the first class parlor suites, things like that. When it comes to the Britannic, it was the youngest sister of the Olympic and the Titanic. Unfortunately, had a very sad story immediately because of World War I going into service by the British government as a hospital ship. 11 months later, she gets nailed by a German mind coming from a U-boat and sinks. But the Britannic, when it was built, represented the pinnacle of the Olympic class. She was the very best of the three and the builders took lessons into account from both the Olympic and the Titanic, especially the Titanic after it sank. The Britannic's design was heavily modified for both luxury and safety and was also the biggest of the three. Since the Britannic was still under construction when the Titanic sank, the shipbuilders could modify the ship's safety design without completely rebuilding it. An extra bulkhead was added to Britannic, giving it 17 watertight compartments instead of 16, like the Titanic and the Olympic. Britannic also had to install, of course, the extra lifeboats cluttering the deck, but it was a needed change considering what happened to the Titanic. Another difference was the repositioning of some of the common rooms on the ship. The aft well deck was enclosed, which gave the third class passengers a covered provadon. The third class smoking room was moved above the general room on the poop deck, which made the stern appear larger. The second class passengers were also given a gymnasium as well. So that, that's a nice upgrade. The second class passengers also get a gym. Nearly every luxury feature on the Britannic was upgraded, which includes the grand staircase being modified to hold a organ. Ultimately, the organ was never installed since Britannic was altered into service as a hospital ship before ever carrying any commercial passengers and sunk before the end of the war. So it is a real sad story. We're going to go over some of the rooms because this is kind of like, you know, the Olympic going to the Titanic. Because it's a newer ship, it's going to have more exclusive features. They're going to learn off their past ships and make the newer ones more advanced. So theoretically, you would think, yes, the Britannic should be better than the Titanic, but we are going to look at some of the main different areas. The first one we're going to take a look at is their most expensive uh, suite. You can take a look at the different sitting room area on it and also the private Promadon deck. I'll be honest, I think the Titanic's private Promadon is, is much nicer. I just like the wood design on the Titanic more than this one. And also the Titanic private Promadon decks were much longer than the Britannic's. But the Britannic ones were still very nice and, and extremely impressive. The next area we're going to look at is the swimming pool. So the Britannic, clearly an upgraded version of the Titanic's very bare swimming pool. Back when the Titanic was made, it was a luxury to even have a swimming pool on a ship, but they wanted to upgrade it. And I also suspect had the Titanic remained in service, uh, it would have gotten a, a big time swimming pool upgrade probably within a few different years. When it comes to the Grand Staircase section... If I'm being completely honest, I would certainly like the Titanic's Grand Staircase better than the Britannic's. It has to do with the carpeting design. I just hate that green. I think it's ugly. It just doesn't fit the wood. Uh, you know, when it mixes together, I don't like that at all. The organ, it is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me almost of a church, but that's another part where because they installed the organ, there was no connection, you know, of that deck. And it just, to me, it looks more organic. It has like an overhang, a way you can look over through the grand staircase on the Titanic versus the organ blocking it. So it is certainly cool to see that, but I do think the Titanic does have a better grand staircase area, even though theoretically the Britannic was supposed to be kind of an upgraded version in that sense. And then also the Britannic had many upgrades when it came to third class, you know, the extra gym in second class, 
just looking at the stern of the ship, it is clearly different. Uh, but that's another area, if I'm being honest, I do think they're doing a little bit too much on the Britannic. I like the Titanic design better. Uh, you know, if I was a passenger, a third class passenger, I would certainly rather travel on the Britannic. It's tough because the Britannic really, you know, it, it never carried legitimate passengers. It, it was just a hospital ship, so it is sad. Uh, but just in terms of that added, like, Promadon area, the enclosed area, I don't think that looks that good, you know, just from an eye perspective. So I do like uh, the Titanic better in that form. When it comes to these three ships, uh, comparing the Olympic Titanic and the Britannic, I would say the Olympic is bare bones. So I would say it's a little bit of a negative because it's just bare bones. It was the first one. I don't have anything against the Olympic, but I do think the design, you know, without the private Promadon decks, uh, not my favorite. I think the Titanic was just right, right in the middle. There was more luxury, but it wasn't too much. And then the Britannic, it seems like in a lot of these areas, a lot of these rooms, they were trying to do too much. So I like the Titanic the most, and I'm not just saying that because it is the most famous one. I just think there's the luxury, but it's not too far. And also the Grand Staircase area for me uh, on the Britannic, it, just the carpeting takes it away and also the organ as well. I mean, it's cool, but I would much rather have like a balcony like we saw on the Olympic and the Titanic to really bring the room together and make it more elegant uh, in my opinion. But the Britannic in theory was definitely more luxurious. It was an upgrade. They built it to be better than the Titanic. I mean, they built it after the Titanic. The Olympic was built. The Titanic was built. It was slightly bigger. The Britannic was built. It was slightly bigger than, than the Titanic. So they kept improving, but just me personally, and also the private Promadon area, the most expensive first-class parlor suites. I like the Titanic's designs better on those as well, but they are very, very similar. You're kind of splitting hairs outside of the private Promadon deck. The private Promadon deck on Titanic was definitely better. And then just some other areas of the Britannic I found interesting. How about this? The children's play area looks to be located on the boat deck. That looks pretty nice. Looks like a decent upgrade. This is the first class reception room on the Britannic. Very interesting design when it comes to the doors. I actually like that design on the doors. Makes it look like a hotel. And then you've got the potted plants right there. That looks pretty good. This is a real photo of the interior construction of the Britannic and the first class dining room. That's what this is. So that, that, that's a rare photo when it comes to the Olympic Titanic, Britannic, any interior photos, it's pretty crazy. And then this is a pretty sad photo. So this is when the Britannic had to be fitted into a hospital ship basically immediately. You can see the difference in the first class grand staircase. It just looks... I mean, it, it just looks like it has no personality, you know, because it had to be fitted. Look at all those lifeboats right there. That's a good image that shows the added uh, third class Promadon room, like the, the, the raised room. So, so that's a little bit of an upgrade. That show a bunch of lifeboats there towards the back of that. And then also you do have... Oh, then that's just another image of the private Promadon deck. You know, not my favorite design. Personally, the Britannic definitely had... I don't know if I would even say more luxury. Theoretically, it did have more luxury, but I just think the Titanic, like when you compare the ships side by side, the Titanic versus the Britannic, I do think personally, uh, the Titanic looks a little bit better. And, and certainly the Titanic, when it was made, looked better than the Olympic because it had a, an enclosed or at least a partially enclosed A-deck Providon. That's another reason why I know this isn't the video for it, I might have to do a different one, but, you know, people talk about, oh, it switched, the Olympic actually sank, it, it, it just doesn't make any sense, the ships were different, they, they were built different, well, well, they were built the same, but the Titanic was renovated before it even went into service, it has a partially enclosed A-deck Providon, and, it, and it's depicted on the wreck, you can see the bow and the A deck is enclosed, the Promadon section. So it just, the, the ships were different. I just think people don't understand. They think the Olympic and Titanic were the exact same thing. But either way, when it comes to the Titanic and the Britannic, the Britannic was slightly bigger. They had to add a bunch of extra lifeboats. Looking at when it was fitted for, you know, kind of a luxury ocean liner, 
I would say the Titanic is still better. Of course, the Britannic was never actually used as a luxury ocean liner. None of the areas were ever built. It's all just renderings. It had to be immediately fitted for a hospital ship as it was being built. I think the Titanic was the perfect balance between it was luxury, but it wasn't too overbearing and too crazy. So that's why I would say the Titanic was the best of the three. Of course, this is all anecdotal. You could very easily say the Titanic was the worst. It sunk in five days, you know, so, so I understand that. But also, we have to be honest, the Titanic was safer than the Olympic. I know it hit an iceberg, but the way they designed the ship, the Titanic was safer than the Olympic. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.